All right, so here we have a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery. And you can see how neat that is. As you can see, the system is inside a garage and uh, the vehicle will still be able to fit no problem. So I wanna touch on a few points when it comes to lithium. We'll cover some pros and some cons. So one of the main pros is lithium takes up a lot less space. It will also last much, much, much longer. It's also made from a lot less toxic material, so it's much more user friendly and can go almost anywhere inside the house. It's also stackable, meaning you can stack them vertically, which will save even more space. So you can have several of these batteries stacked vertically in a corner and that will save you a lot of space. Each battery is also equipped with an onboard battery monitoring system which is its own onboard computer and that monitors the individual cells in the battery itself. So this particular battery has 16 different cells and as you can see you're able to access the information. So that does it allows you to troubleshoot if there's ever an issue. Um, it tells you if it's charging or discharging, how much current is coming in, what your battery voltage is, all these critical information. It also is able to check your temperature on your cells. So it is a lot more advanced than your typical battery system. So besides being more advanced, it's also a bit more repairable so if you ever have like a bad cell you're able to identify it from the battery monitoring system replace that cell and reboot the battery and you're up and running again now that's a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery and that would basically replace about eight rose batteries So you can see how much space you can save with lithium. Lithium not only saves space, but it's also a much longer lasting battery. It will have a lot more cycles, charge and discharge cycle than say an AGM or a flooded lead acid or a sealed lead acid battery. A good quality lead acid battery is usually rated somewhere around 13 to 1500 cycles whereas a lithium battery is normally three to five or six thousand cycles so it's a much longer lasting battery another great advantage of a lithium battery is the fact that it is a lot less toxic battery so when dealing with a lead acid battery, we all know lead is poisonous, it's also cancerous, so it's, it's made from a lot of dangerous chemicals. Whereas lithium, it's a dry chemical composition, however, it's a lot less toxic. As you know, lithium is the same type of battery that's in your cell phone or your laptop or in an electric vehicle. So what that does, it, it uh, gives you the advantage of being able to put the lithium battery almost anywhere in your house. Even though I would not advise you have your solar system like right next to your bedroom or something or <laughs> in your room, but um, it makes it a lot more flexible as far as where you can put your, centralize your solar system. When I say centralized, I'm talking about this that you see right here. This is your actual system. Uh, comprises of your inverter, charge controller, your batteries, everything is one place so you could centralize everything in a more uh, user-friendly way. 10 kilowatt hours of lithium literally for half the price of a Tesla Powerwall. Give us a call 876-467-6643. So what are the cons now? The cons are for one lithium is a bit more expensive. It's not a whole lot more expensive but um well, it's about 40% more expensive than lead acid battery. But it's a much longer lasting battery than lead acid battery. So the, the cost kind of works itself out based on the advantages of going lithium. Another con is that it's a bit more sensitive to surge. 
So you must scale your battery bank according to the load that you plan to run. And that way you're able to limit the amount of amps you can discharge and charge the battery with. Because lithium works a lot different than your contemporary lead acid battery that we're all used to that is able to handle all kinds of crazy surges, charges and discharge. Lithium is a bit more sensitive and uh, the problem with lithium is it heats up very quickly. And what usually causes heat in a circuit that's usually due to current flow, also known as amps or amperes. Uh, amps is what causes heat, which causes an electrical friction in the line, basically, that would generate heat in the circuit. Uh, so with that said, you must be able to limit the amount of amps you can pull from the battery or that you can put into the battery at any given time. Therefore, it's extremely important that you size your lithium battery correctly. When I say size, that means you would size it according to the inverter or you would use a protection device such as a breaker to limit the amount of current you can pull from the battery. I've been getting a lot of requests on lithium for about two years now, but we've been in the experimental phase in trying to choose the right product at the right price. And so the search has been on for a couple of years now. I've tried many different lithium batteries and uh, really it comes down to a few points such as a manufacturer that will be around, you know, in a few years if there is ever an issue. So we have a solid manufacturer and uh, they produce batteries for a lot of other large companies. So this is a generic battery unbranded but it's been tried and tested and I'm very pleased with these batteries. So this one here is a 10 kilowatt hour lithium. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and comment. And please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.